sister, tell me, what is the significance of today's celebration? A hundred years of faith and service and, and a collaboration of all the people we've met, known, and worked with us for a hundred years. It's wonderful. What does this mean to you personally? I think it's a culmination of knowing what the Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady stand for. I've been a part of it for 43 years and if the first 57 years were anything like the last 43 years, it's wonderful. We've always been a part of a collaboration of community leaders, the different churches as well as the Catholic Church. Uh, the governmental bodies, all of them have always been with us from the very first day. And when we came on September 30th, 1911, we came at the request of uh, the arch, excuse me, the Bishop of Alexandria, and he in turn had the physicians of the area and the community leaders saying, can we do something to form a hospital here or an orphanage, it didn't work out. And so our sister said, that's okay, we can move on, and did, and established our foundation in Monroe, Louisiana. What does this anniversary mean for the health system? It's a good sign for the communities that we have the privilege of serving that uh, we've been here for 100 years. We're not someone who comes in and goes out depending on the economics or are any types of new programs or old programs and so it's a sign for uh, we hope everyone that the health system is here it will be here health care reform is coming everyone says gee so many hospitals are going to be closing we're not going to be able to provide uh, for the people we believe we can find a way to do that what role do the sisters play in the hospitals and the health systems in Louisiana the sisters traditionally were all nurses uh, with a few exceptions, me being one of the exceptions. Uh, but now today they're more in a pastoral or spiritual uh, work that they do within our hospitals as well as in our nursing homes, in our housing areas. We have a prison ministry as well. But we, our sisters are well trained. Uh, as I said, many of them uh, were degree nurses and s several of them had their masters in nursing. Uh, as well. We do lots of different things depending on what the need is and that's one of the good things we have. We can move on to do something else. We train then to do whatever is necessary at that time. When our sisters first started they were basically nurses but their whole emphasis was not only for caring for the sick but to educate the people to be able to do that and do it in a loving caring way. We continue that tradition today with uh, Our Lady of the Lake College here in uh, Baton Rouge. I think it's appropriate we remember Archbishop Hannon as we celebrate the sisters 100 years of service to our communities and to our state. He was a man who truly exemplified faith, sacrifice and service. You know, I, like many of you, have been privileged to be touched by the sisters' work and legacy. As a young child, I remember being rushed to the emergency room of Our Lady of the Lake after I had totaled my father's brand new car to be treated in the emergency room. <laughs> the doctors did a better job on me than the mechanics did on the car that beautiful day. I've been back here as the son of a parent being treated in that same hospital. I've also been back here as the father of a child receiving excellent care yet again in this wonderful legacy, this wonderful institution founded by the sisters. It is remarkable to believe these six women of faith 100 years ago traveled all the way to Louisiana and have made such a profound difference in the lives of so many. But having known many sisters throughout my life and career, it doesn't surprise me at all they've had this kind of lasting impact. I must tell you just two quick stories. I remember when I was secretary of the Department of Health and Hospitals several years ago in the 90s. A sister, not one of the ones seated here, but a sister working in health care in Louisiana came to see me. She brought at the time a small jar of homemade pasta sauce to give to me. I think I was allowed to accept that despite the ethics laws of the times. <laughs> she came to see me, she said, Bobby, I know you're a good Catholic boy, so I know you're gonna help us. We need more money in our our facility so I'm sure you can raise our rates. I said, sister, I'd love to look at your books and talk to your accounts and see what we can do to help you. She said, son, let's pray together. <laughs> and so we prayed together. I said, sister, I've enjoyed the prayer time, but really we're going to have to see your books if you want some additional money from the state. She said, son, let's pray together again. <laughs> pray together again. 
The third time I still protested. I said, sister, I'm so sorry, there's just nothing. And she said, son, let us pray together yet a third time. After the third prayer, my deputy who had been in the room, who was a pretty cynical man, who was not known to be a man of faith, said, sister, don't worry about it. We'll get you whatever money you need. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I later asked him, I said, you know, you say no to legislators, to lobbyists. You say no to the media. You say no to everybody all the time. I'm just curious, why did you say yes to the sister? And I remember what he said, and I, they were words of wisdom. He said, Bobby, those people can make our lives miserable in this lifetime. <laughs> he said, the sister, she can impact our lives in the next lifetime. I'm more worried about her than all those lobbyists put together. I later had the privilege in my career to, just for a short period of time, to serve on the board of the Baton Rouge facility, Our Lady of the Lake. And I remember telling Bob Davidge, the CEO at the time, that I thought he had the toughest job in the state. Half the board were comprised of business leaders and bankers who protested they wanted to know why the hospital wasn't making more money. The other half the board included sisters who kept asking why the hospital wasn't giving away more money to the local community. But I think it is that spirit of charity, service, and sacrifice that truly makes these institutions so special. I've got a proclamation, I'm not going to read it to you today for the sake of time, but I've got a proclamation on behalf of the people of Louisiana to thank the Franciscan sisters and all the men and women who work with them and who have created this century, this legacy of service that has touched so profoundly the lives of so many families in Louisiana. I'll close with two final thoughts. It is only, we're here just not to look back but also to look forward. It has been a great first century of service. But just yesterday I had the privilege of meeting with the staff to review the plans right here in Baton Rouge for the ongoing expansion at Our Lady of the Lake in partnership with the LSU medical facilities in the state of Louisiana. I'm excited about the next century of service to the next generation of Louisianians. So on behalf of a grateful state, on behalf of the people of Louisiana, I personally want to thank the sisters and I want to thank all the men and women that work with them every day to provide this legacy of care that is so profoundly important to all of our families. May God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Wow, what a beautiful day for this great event. There are really three uh, aspects to today that are important. We're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the arrival of the Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady in Louisiana. We're celebrating the end of their first century of service to the people of our state. And we're celebrating the beginning of the next centuries of service to the people of our state. And, and all of those are, are duly fitting reasons for all of us to be gathered here today. Uh, we certainly uh, appreciate all of your participation and attendance. Uh, I'd like to recognize uh, many of our guests. First, our clergy, Archbishop Amon and your brother, bishops and priests and deacons. Thank you so much for a beautiful liturgy. Uh, we couldn't have started uh, the celebration in a more fitting way. Thank you so much for that. And we also want to extend our condolences to you and, and the church on the loss of Archbishop Hannon uh, and know that you'll be in our thoughts and prayers as you celebrate his life next week. We also have with us our Franciscan Service Award recipients. They're seated up, seated up here in the, the first rows. These are individuals who reflect our values and are selected by their peers. Thank you for your service as role models of our mission and values. And as uh, others have said, we have a large number of, of elected officials, uh, board members, physicians, volunteers, and team members, all of whom support our mission daily in your work. Thank you so much for what you do and for your presence today. I'd now like to introduce individually to you the uh, Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady. Uh, visiting uh, Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady Sister Maria Elena Rodriguez Cavajo Marrera, Superior <laughs> General. How did I do? <laughs> we're, we're delighted you can be with us. Sister Adelaide Lopez, the Provincial Superior from Portugal. Would you please stand? Sister Ababesh Agoda, the Regional Superior from Ethiopia. Sister Ababesh. Sister Margaret Abaga, visiting from Ethiopia. Sister Margaret. And then the Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady in the North American Province. Sister Martha Ann Absher, Sister Barbara Arsenault, Sister Helen Cahill, 
Sister Kathleen Kane, the Provincial Superior for the North American Province, Sister Rita Laney, Sister Betty Lyons, Sister Vernola Lyons, Sister Ann Catherine Nguyen, Sister Penny Prophet, and Sister Be Brendan Mary Ronan, Sister Eileen Rowe, Sister Mary Ann Sepulvedo, Sister Margarita Vasquez, Sister Wen Vu, Sister Getu Petros, and Sister Metzkia Ageto. Also members of the province but not able to be here today are Sister Rosavania de Concheco, who's in Haiti, and Sister Lillian Lynch, who's visiting Ireland. Please join me again in extending a warm thanks to our sisters for all that they do for us. As we celebrate the 100th anniversary of faith and service of our Franciscan sisters, we want to present a commemorative gift symbolizing the importance of this special time in the lives of our sisters. It is with great pride that we present this stained glass replica of the congregation's emblem. This stained glass piece will be placed here at our facility in memory of this 100th anniversary celebration, and we know it will be joined in future years as the centuries go on by other centennial um, memories. The emblem encompasses three very important themes for the Franciscan missionaries of Our Lady Congregation. It has the world representing the sisters' missionary presence, Mary, our Blessed Mother, and the Ta, the signature of St. Francis of Assisi. We would also like to present the sisters with six live oak trees in memory of the original six sisters who pioneered this journey for us and for you a hundred years ago. The trees will be planted here at the provincial house and grow sturdy and strong into the next hundred years, always serving to remind us that we must continue to grow strong in responding to the needs of God's people here in Louisiana. Earlier this week, our health system also presented our sisters with a commitment to create community gardens in each community served. These gardens will expand access to fresh fruits and vegetables for many of our team members and others in our communities, and it's consistent with our vision of healthy lives. So with those presentations, we'd like to thank our sisters for your guidance, your love, and your dedication. On behalf of all of our team members, we offer our prayers and support for each of you and for the ministry to which you have dedicated your lives. May God continue to bless you. And now I'll introduce Sister Kathleen Kane, who's our provincial. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to welcome all of you, but before I will say another word, the Superior General will speak. <laughs> Sister Mary Elena, please come forward. I not speak English. <laughs> Monseigneur et mon archevêque de Baton Rouge. Archbishop Amen and fellow, your fellow bishop student. Chers amis, évêques, prêtres, diacres et mes sœurs. Your priests, the deacons, and my sisters. Mr. Feiner and toute l'équipe du bureau de santé. Mr. Feiner and the entire health system. Mesdames, Messieurs, représentant l'autorité civile. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the civil authorities. Chers bienfaiteurs, volontaires, et amis engagés dans la vie et la mission des franciscaines missionnaires de Notre-Dame. Benefactors, volunteers, and friends in the life and mission of the Franciscan missionaries of Our Lady. Je m'adresse à vous tous en ce jour de célébration et fête avec les paroles du psalmiste. Béni soit le Seigneur, car il a fait pour nous des merveilles. 
I would like to say to all of you on this day of celebration and feast, the following words of the psalmist. Blessed be the Lord, because he has done great things for you. La joie remplit nos cœurs. Joy fills our hearts. La congregation des Franciscaines Missionnaires de Notre Dame, notre chère congregation, est en fête. The Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady, our dear congregation, is celebrating. Ensemble, dans un seul cœur et dans une seule voix, nous célébrons les cent ans de foi et de service de nos sœurs de la Provence de l'Amérique du Nord. Together, in one heart and in one voice, we celebrate 100 years of faith and service of our sisters of the North American province. 1911 est la référence historique. The year 1911 is a historic reference. Six sœurs, sous la mouvance de l'esprit, en réponse à la demande de l'Église et des autorités civiles, quittent la France. Six sisters, in the movement of the Spirit, in response to the request of the Church, and several authorities left France. Une foi inébranlable les anime et les encourage pour répondre aux besoins du peuple de Louisiane à cette époque. An unwavering belief animated and encouraged them to meet the needs of the people of Louisiana at this time. Rien ne les décourage. Nothing discouraged them. Ni la langue, ni la culture, ni l'inconnu, ni la distance. Language, culture, the unknown, or the distance. Une nouvelle mission les attend dans la, priori dans la priorité est de témoigner de leur vie, l'amour et de la miséricorde de Dieu. A new mission awaited them whose priority was to witness the love and mercy of God. Promouvoir les soins de santé aux infirmes est leur première action. Promote the health of the sick was their first mission. Avec la collaboration dynamique, engagée, créative des laïcs, elles ont bâti les fondements, les bases solides de ce que nous voyons aujourd'hui. Collaboration with dynamic, committed, and creative laity, they built the foundation for what we see today. Un système de santé avec plus de 10 000 collaborateurs pour une réponse actuelle aux besoins de la société contemporaine. A health system with more than 10,000 staff for today's response to the needs of contemporary society. Effectivement, au cours de ces 100 ans, les sœurs, avec la collaboration des laïcs bien engagés, ont développé l'histoire de la Provence enraciné dans notre héritage historique, charismatique et franciscain. Indeed, during these 100 years, the sisters, with the collaboration of many committed laity, developed the history of the province, rooted in our historic, char char charismatic Franciscan heritage. Avec des hymnes d'action de grâce et de louange, Nous remercions Dieu de l'histoire, de la richesse de notre héritage. We thank and praise God for the richness of our heritage. Toujours dans une fidélité créative à notre charisme et à la mission audacieuse de Mère Louise et du Père Duchesne, sous la mouvance de l'esprit, avancez au large dans la recherche de nouveaux chemins et de nouvelles réponses pour un nouveau siècle qui commence. Always in creative fidelity to our charism and the daring mission of Mother Louise and Father Duchesne, under the movement of the Spirit, look to the future in search for new paths and new answers 
for a new century begins. Que l'Esprit Saint, lui qui fait toutes choses nouvelles, répande sur vous en abondance ses lumières et ses grâces. That the Holy Spirit, who made all things new, give you in abundance his guidance and his graces. Merci, mes sœurs. Merci à vous tous qui œuvrez dans cette grande mission pour le bien de l'humanité et pour la gloire de Dieu. Thank you, my sisters. Thanks to all who work in the great mission for the good of humanity and for the glory of God. God bless you. We are celebrating a special day, and so we want to thank our families, our staff, our friends, benefactors, volunteers, board members, for being not only with us today, but throughout all of our history. Today we could not have occurred without the many team members who have spent countless hours helping us get ready for today. It's like birthing a baby. They've been working with us for nine months for this day to occur and this week to occur. This is the seventh of nine celebrations we will be having. So thank you team and staff and everyone involved. Our journey forward will be fruitful and blessed because of our first 100 years. God's blessing has been upon us and you have been a part, a part of that blessing. The Franciscan missionaries of Our Lady came here over 100 years ago this day. It was September 30th, and what a way to celebrate a new century. This week has been filled with much anticipation and excitement. We continue not only to end a century, to, but to begin a century the same way for our next celebration is in Monroe with Bishop Duca. So the first shall be last, our last celebration, but it will also be our first of our new century. Back in, in 1911, we had the support of Mother Maria Anna, the Superior General of the Franciscan Sisters of Calais. That is what we were known as back then. That is what the congregation was called, and today we have Sister Mary Elena representing the Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady and her fellow provincials, regionals, counselors, etc. have been sending us numerous notes, wishes, and wishing you all with us the celebration that we enjoy. Sister represents over 450 other Franciscan missionaries of Our Lady worldwide. So the congregation with you joins in this celebration. There are some differences and some similarities that have occurred since 1911. We began with six sisters. Today we have 18. The French and the Irish were the only two cultures at that time. Today, with the 18 sisters, we have one Portuguese, one Brazilian, two Vietnamese, two Ethiopians, five Irish, and seven Americans. So we are a multicultural community here, not only as a congregation. We began with only a small number of personnel other than the sisters, and today we enjoy having over 10,000 colleagues that are about our mission, ministering side by side with our sisters. They embrace our high values and standards in, in a loving and caring way to meeting the patient's needs and all those in which we serve. And for just a second, I would like this side of the room with all the white scarves to please stand. These individuals are those that represent our core values based on their colleagues. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing what you do.
It is wonderful to see the sea of white scarves. This is our symbol back to them as joining us, the sisters, in continuing our mission and our ministry. Today, with health care reform upon us, there's lots of unknowns, but one unknown is not here, Governor General. We will be here in this next century serving the people of Louisiana. The, first, the sisters first came were women of great faith and trusted that God would lead them on this journey. And so he did, and he continues to do so, and that is why we believe that our future, the best is yet to come. They believed in doing the right thing, not the popular thing, because it was the right thing to do. And we believe our sisters stand for that as well today. When our sisters arrived in Pineville, they worked with the local bishop, the other church members, the physicians, business leaders in the local community, but it wasn't a fit. They went to Monroe, Louisiana, where our history is wonderful and it is spearheaded the rest of what we do today. Moving from Monroe to Baton Rouge to Lafayette to Gonzales and throughout the state and soon in New Orleans, Archbishop. We are committed to go there. And we were there with through uh, St. Bernard and Katrina. We were very privileged to be able to serve the people at that time. We have wonderful facilities, but it's not all about size, bricks, and mortar. It's about people. People who we are able to serve, but people who serve with us. The team members we work with side by side, our board members that help us strategically plan for the future, the physicians who challenge us to find better ways to care for our patients, the clergy that helps us to take care of the spiritual needs of those that we are privileged to serve, our governmental bodies that together we find ways to meet the challenges of providing health care to the people of Louisiana. The communities we serve, our friends, our families, our benefactors, all should be celebrating and do celebrate with us today. This is a celebration for all of us, a century of service together, serving the people of Louisiana. And what do you see for the future, the next 100 years? I can't imagine what the next 100 years is going to be. I couldn't even imagine what the last decade uh, was. One, at one of our celebrations uh, actually down the street here in Baton Rouge, we said 10 years ago, Our Lady of the Lake would have never thought of becoming a teaching medical uh, college, or not college, but a teaching medical uh, facility. And we're that today. Uh, up, in, up in Monroe, which is the poorest part of the state, we're able to serve uh, the people up there, we have a community that, that backs us with it. It's not all about technology, it's about uh, people as, as well. Y you look at what we're doing in Livingston Parish today. You look at, we just opened a brand new hospital in Lafayette, Our Lady of Lourdes. It, it is the most state-of-the-art facility uh, that we have here. But it's still about people and caring for people.